Prior to 1926, Yellowstone National Park was a vibrant, flourishing oasis. After 1926, when the wolves were killed off, the lights might as well have been turned off forever. Fast forward to seven years later, where the wolves were reintroduced into Yellowstone National Park, and that kept the lights on for now. And hoping, and I'm hoping that's for generations to come. The wolves had a symbiotic relationship with the other animals where one was dependent on the other. One affected the other. It was also a domino effect. The wolves killed the coyote and this brought up a rise in Right in mice, rabbits, uh, foxes, hawks, the bald eagle, whose main food was flesh carcasses. And beavers loved to eat the trees. And they went from, after the reintroduction of the wolves, they went from one colony to uh, ten colonies. They built more dams that introduced a habitat for other animals. The fish, otters, uh, muskrats, amphibians, reptiles, and much more. And the deer, which after 1926, grazed on all the vegetation, the shrubs, the trees, the willow trees, the cotton trees, where they were almost extinct now, after the reintroduction of the wolves, they changed their migration patterns, allowing for the cotton trees, the willow trees, the shrubs to now increase at greater heights, making them grander. And that also allowed for bears to be able to eat berries from the trees, and most importantly, the effects were on the rivers, where they were became, uh, where the where the vegetation in the tr the trees allowed the rivers to be stabilized, and where the rivers moved in a constant motion because of the wolves, the wolf effect. And that allowed the lights for Yellowstone National Park to be on now and for all those who want to see it to go ahead and do so for generations and generations to come, I hope. I know it's exciting, right? Thank you.